What I want this collar to do is I want it to sit high up on the neck and I want as little movement as possible. When a prong collar causes damage to a dog is when it does this. Yeah. Right? It starts yeah. chafing the neck. Yeah. If it's just here, mm -hmm. for example, like this, and I just pull on it, it's not causing any problems. God, I love that. Right? Yeah, thank you for showing me that. Right? Because everybody puts it loose and then they got it twisting around and yeah. it scratches. Yeah. And it's just, a, I mean, your fingernails could do this much damage, right? Yeah. But again, it's a German Hermspringer, so it's not, the, the ends are filed. It's not going to cause as much problems. But I took two prongs out, and what I did is I took them out on equally, equally on both sides. Right? So I've got four on this side, and one, two, three, four on this side. I'm going to put it on them, and when I put it on them, I'm going to put it on this way, mm -hmm. and I'm attaching it via the prong. Like, I put it on that way, and mm -hmm. then I twist it, and I make sure it's in the right position. It's a quick release, so this collar you can put on without ever pinching a prong, because it's kind of hard to pinch the prongs. Like Janet doesn't like pinching the prongs either. Mm -hmm. So what you would do with this is you'd put it here, put it up on the dog's neck, you'd fish this chain through the hole, mm -hmm. then grab the little, um, like I guess like a roach clip or something, a little clip, mm -hmm. and I'd put it through here, and mm -hmm. that's it. Okay. And then you have the option. You can put it on what we call the dead ring, which means attaching both, oh. or the live ring. Which whatever, is you want, whatever you want, wherever you I say. use the live ring okay. for teaching the dog what to do. Okay. And I use the dead ring depending on if I'm using, if I want blunt corrections. This is, a, this is more of a tactile correction. It's more like it's giving him this. I'm going to attach this here to the live ring, right? Mm -hmm. Now, generally, what I would want to do is I would want to use a backup. Okay, that means I would want another collar here. It could be this one. And I would run a backup, ah. right? But for now, we're not going to use it because I'm, I've got control over it. I'm not worried okay. about it. But I'm going to take this off. If I want, I want to put another, like a slip lead type collar on here because this is going to now correct here. Mm -hmm. I need it to correct on here. So the first thing now, since he's had it put on, I've been rubbing his neck, he kind of, he doesn't, he's never felt anything negative from the prong with me, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to teach him how to communicate with the prong. And the reason I want to use this, and again, I put it on like a P, hey, hey, Meryl, good boy, yeah, good boy, yeah, that boy, that's good. And again, this is now going to go under the prong, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah, you can get that, that's fine, you can have a cookie for that. And I'm going to hook in from here to here. So now I'm going to have, ah. right? Let me just show this on camera. So this goes underneath here. This goes into here first, then into here. So mm -hmm. if I need a backup, if this comes off, which it can, watch. I give the dog a harsh correction, and this comes off the prong. Watch what happens. I didn't lose my dog. I but if see. that prong came off, I would have lost my dog. I see. Training your dog doesn't need to be complicated. In fact, it should be fun. When training is fun for both you and your dog, your dog succeeds and you enjoy training. That is what I've developed into my online dog training. Whether you're looking for advanced problem solving, some basic obedience, or competitive obedience and tricks, whether you're dealing with aggression, problem solving like jumping on people, leash pulling, or anything else, my online dog training covers exactly that. There are more than 170 lessons, more than 60 hours of instruction designed to help you better understand your dog and solve the problems that plague you now. Join the thousands of people who have developed a better relationship with their dog through my online dog training. And if a dog gets corrected on a prong and he spooks, because he hasn't been taught properly, and then that prong comes off, you're not gonna get your dog back because he realizes that you're the jerk who hurt, my, hurt me. So the prong collar, hold on for just one second, um, has to be taught and introduced properly. Here, put this back on. And we're back to square one, which is exactly where we want to be. So now, let's introduce the prong to him in a positive way. Let me have my cookies. And all I want to do here is put pressure on the prong and show him what to do. So here's pressure pressure on the prong, right? Yeah. Yeah, good boy. And even if he looks at you, I'm going to give him a cookie because he's probably thinking it's coming from you. Pressure on the prong, pressure on the prong. 
Yeah, good boy. Praise. Okay, you got that one. I go away from him. I don't need the pressure, but now watch. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to tease him on this one. I'm going to put the cookie down. I'm going to put pressure on the prong, pressure on the prong. Yeah, good boy. He goes away from the, what he thinks he wants because I'm putting pressure on the prong. Pressure. Yeah, good boy. Right, I mark what I want. I'm going to bring him back again. Pressure on the prong. He goes away from the pressure. Yeah, good boy. I want to teach him how to turn that pressure off. That's a great way to do it. Pressure on the prong. Yeah, good boy. I've never hit him on the prong. I've never popped him on the prong. I, if I have to, I will. I got no problem correcting him on the prong. But I don't introduce it that way, right? I want to introduce, like if I teach karate, I want to introduce, here, this is going to hit you. Okay, it's coming. It's on a foam. Boom. Okay, block it. Okay, you got away from it. You ducked under it. I reward that. I don't put a kid in a karate game, punch him in the face, and say, you should have blocked that. That's the same way people introduce prongs incorrectly. So here, hmm. see now? What is he doing? Hmm. He's not even, I'm not even, I can't even get pressure on the prong. Tiny bit of pressure. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. And then I'm gonna pick that up. So, now if you're gonna walk him, all you're gonna do here, I'm gonna just give him this so he doesn't need it. Um, I'm gonna just walk him with me now. And all I need to do here, and just walk on my side so that he's, you know, or, or stay there, it's fine. Either way. Now, all I'm gonna do is pressure. Good boy. Praise, right? So now, I'm gonna let him get a little bit away from me. We're gonna turn around. And put a little pressure. Yeah, good boy. All I'm doing is this. That's all the pressure he needs, right? I can call him away from anything with that pressure. Mm. Watch. Look at that. Would you mind terribly if we had Dwayne way over no. there and saw? No, bring Dwayne out. Okay, I want to do my drill. Oh, okay, so you know what we'll do? Here's a great thing. Let Dwayne do his drill, which is a lot of running around. We're going to go way over there. And we're going to let him run, and we're going to control Murrow. Okay, that would be great. Okay. So I don't need this uh, this um, harness anymore. Well, I would get rid of the harness. Yeah, and it's also done. going to wear his fur down and everything. Thank it's not you. Gonna, you're not going to like it. So all we're going to do, let's go get kind of in the shade so he stay, we kind of keep him engaged a little bit. But now, pressure release. Mm. Don't ever walk him on a tight pressure. Thank you. Right? Yeah. This is, this is yeah. only, it's Real like a important. phone. You only use it when you need it. Yeah. Right? You don't, <laughs> there. Okay, so we're going to just get him away from that. And when she brings Dwayne out, you're going to see some excitement. And he's going to be running fast. So you'll see um, in the distance, you're going to see Dwayne, but you're going to see him chilling out. And all I need to do with him is I'm going to have you stand next to me and I'm going to have you give him commands because it's not, he doesn't need to listen to me. I'm going to come over here. Good. So we're just out of the shade. Good. And then he sees Dwayne. And you're going to tell him this, tell Murrow to sit. No. Yeah. Yeah. Murrow, sit. Good. Good boy. All right. Glad you're holding the leash. Yeah. Good boy. He Okay, then he's going to run over this, this is way. Great. Yeah, this, this is a is lot of excitement. Great. This is great. And when he sees this movement, I'm going to go, Meryl. Good. See, so, you now he sees him running. Meryl, sit. Good. Sit. Good. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Good. He sees him running. Now he's neutral, right? So now he sees his ears and everything. His body language is neutral. This is he's not, not how interested. This is he usually looks at all. Well, because usually, you spent the last hour yeah. engaging your dog to you and making your relationship important as yeah. opposed to making your relationship kind of annoying, right? <laughs> right? Because it's like you're not forcing him to be with you. You're making it exciting to be with you. <laughs> so he sees this. Yeah. But he's relaxed. If he gets fixated on it, then I walk backwards. I go, hey, Meryl, come here. 
right? But if he's just chill. Yeah, he's usually just. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, but he, he, now he understands a couple things. One is, good, he's trying to walk away. He says, well, there's shade over here, right? <laughs> good boy, Merle, good boy, good boy. Good. He's not stupid. He wants to get in the shade. Good. And I'm never going to correct him for sitting with you. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want to see. So he's, he's looking at you and he sees this dog, right? So you can pet him. Good boy. That's yeah. it. Just a gentle wow, pet. Good boy. Wow, this is boy. amazing. Right? Good boy. And that's a high drive, this, intact, five-year-old Robert, Labrador. are you sure this isn't just your energy? Well, a lot of it might have to do with that, but this is what the dog is capable of, right? This is a first. Yeah, but this ever. is what I want. This is the first ever. Right? Ever. Well, good. And you can get that on camera because I am being totally authentic. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's what I want to see, you know? Good. And this is a lot of energy. The whistle, the dog running, the energy of the dog running, the intactness of the dog, right? And when she puts him on a leash, we're gonna walk down towards him. And then that's how we're gonna end it. We're gonna end, beautiful.